So what are complex numbers? Well, perhaps you're looking for the roots of quadratic equations. For instance, y equals x squared minus 1 has the roots 1 and minus 1. You can also find these with simple algebra by setting y equal to 0 and rearranging. But what about the equation y equals x squared plus 1? This equation doesn't appear to have any roots, it never touches the x-axis. This is backed up by algebra, where x becomes equal to plus or minus some square root of negative 1, which isn't a real number. Your intuition then is probably to give up here, and assume that this equation is simply unsolvable. Perhaps instead, you try something different. You imagine some number, i, such that i squared equals negative 1, or i equals the square root of negative 1. This allows us to solve our equation as x equals plus or minus i. The problem with this idea is that it seems like complete nonsense. Where is the number i on the number line, for instance? Well, perhaps we start by considering i squared, or negative 1. Notice what happens when you multiply some number n, which is represented here by 1, by negative 1. You move to negative n. If you repeat this action, you return to your original number, n. In some sense, then, a multiplication by negative 1 is a rotation of 180 degrees on the number line. Perhaps, then, the square root of negative 1 should be half the rotation of negative 1, making i a 90 degree rotation. Similarly, negative i must be 180 degrees from i. This appears to create a new axis. These two axes, the real axis and the imaginary axis, together are referred to as the complex plane. Numbers on the complex plane are made up of two pieces. A real part, which specifies the number's location on the real axis. And an imaginary part, which specifies the number's location on the imaginary axis. These two parts together make for a genuinely 2D number system. This number can be anywhere in 2D space, the same way a real number can be anywhere in 1D space. The lesson from this, then, is that sometimes in maths, an impossible problem requires a change in perspective for the answer to become clear.